welcome to me trying out fall drinks. I'm so excited. Right now we are at Starbucks. Well, I call Starbucks Starbucks. And I'm so excited. Sorry for this quality, but I'm using my phone. I forgot my camera at home. I was just too excited to get my gas for the car and then to go to my chiropractor on time and made sure I had enough time between those two things that I forgot my nice camera. But the nice thing with the phone is that I actually have a screen that I can see myself in and see that I'm actually in frame and stuff. So yeah, um, once again, sorry about the lower quality, but you know what? We love technology and cameras nowadays on phones are amazing. And yeah, so I'm excited. And then I brought my Minnie Mouse with. Um, in case you don't know me or you're new to my channel, I forgot to say my name. I'm Elena Mahila. Welcome. And I love Disney. I'm a huge fan of Disney. And I used to work at Disney World twice. Um, so a yeah, little fun fact. And I'm obsessed with Mickey and Minnie. And this is called a Minnie Mouse New Emo. And they have other characters. And so I just bring her everywhere. Um, I have really bad anxiety and stuff. So it's just nice bringing her with me. Um, I don't care how old I am. Uh, I'm always going to need my little plushie. She helps me out. Um, especially with um, being a new driver and just being out in public and stuff. But yeah, back to the fall items. I was so excited. Uh, like I said, I'm at Starbucks, aka Starbies, and I got their pumpkin cream cold brew, which I already know I love. That's the one I always get during the fall time. But I'm going to try their um, apple crisp macchiato oat milk, which I love oat milk. So I'm excited about that. I got a tall because um, I can't have a lot of coffee in one day. I I can only have one coffee drink a day. I wish I could be those people that drink coffee all day every day. Um, but for me, because of my anxiety and stuff, I can only have one a day. So um, I did a tall for the apple crisp and then a regular grande for the pumpkin cream cold brew because I already know I like that one. And then we're going to try their pumpkin cream cheese muffin, I think it's called. And I'm really excited to try that. And then while I get the goods, I will show you my Caribou Coffee review. I did that one on TikTok, so that's going to be a vertical. Um, you'll see it in vertical form. I did that review before I even thought of doing other pumpkin places like Starbucks, Caribou Coffee, and then um, we're also going to do Dunkin' Donuts. And that one I'm excited because my best friend Kelly is going to be with us. So you're not only going to get just my opinion, but you're going to get her opinion. So that'll be really fun. If you don't know, Caribou Coffee is a Midwest coffee chain. And it started in Minnesota, I believe. And then I know there's a couple in Wisconsin, a couple in North and South Dakota. And I'm assuming maybe Iowa because it's in the border. I don't know if there's any other locations. The main locations are in Minnesota. And I live in the middle of nowhere. And having Caribou um, nearby is amazing. Starbucks is more farther away from me. But I was at a doctor's appointment. And it's near my doctor's place. So, oh my goodness, I love it. I see this girly pop with her venti pumpkin cream cold brew. And I'm so happy for her. Sorry, I got distracted. Um, Starbucks is a little farther away from me, but I was at a doctor's appointment and it's nearby. So yes, I always, it's my little treat after doctor's appointments. <laughs> and then um, Duncan just opened nearby. It's a brand new location and I'm so excited, especially where I live. I literally live in the middle of nowhere. So it's like a big deal that Duncan just opened up. Um, so yeah. I hope you enjoy my caribou coffee review. That's a nice quick short one. I'll be back with the Starbucks Starbucks goodies and we'll get to our awesome review. All right, see you soon. Happy pumpkin spice latte season. <laughs> I'm trying out the caribou coffee um, medium pumpkin espresso shaker or shaken. And then I also added cinnamon, uh, cinnamon topping. That's really good. I like it a lot. She's cute. It's kind of hard to mix it, but it's really good. It's very pumpkin-y, so if you like pumpkin flavor, this is it. Out of 1 to 10, I would give this a solid 9. It's really good. I like it a lot. And he just wanted to sneak in here. <laughs> good job, caribou. <laughs> We are back with the goods. Sorry for the crooked um, view. I can't turn my 
uh, phone holder more without the phone falling. Cute. So, like I said earlier, I got the tall, which is the smaller size, I believe. Um, the apple crisp macchiato and it has oat milk in it which I love and then this is the beautiful pumpkin cream cold brew so I'm gonna try the stuff that I haven't tried out first since I already know what the pumpkin cream tastes like this is the apple crisp macchiato um, it's a little bit not mixed but that's how they do it there and then if you want you can mix it around which I might the best I can do it. As you can see, I'm guessing this is caramel or apple flavor. I don't know. But I'm excited because I do like apple stuff. And there's not a lot of apple drinks. And I like iced coffee. So that's why I got it iced. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay. It's so weird because I definitely taste the oat milk. That's very strong. I don't really taste much of the coffee, um, but there is apple. You do taste apple, which is really nice. Um, so if you like apple flavored things, it's kind of like a caramel apple flavoring, which is really nice. It kind of reminds me of those caramel apple suckers. Um, I feel like this hot would not have the same effect. I don't think this would be good hot. I don't know, I haven't tried it. I probably should have. But I feel like it would not have the same effect. I don't think it would be good hot. I would definitely get this ice. It's not my favorite. Like I said, you can really taste the oat milk in this, which I like oat milk. Um, but if you really want that strong coffee flavor, this is not it, babe. <laughs> um, but it is good. Uh, would I get it again? I don't know. Maybe. There is definitely an apple undertone to it. You do taste the apple, which is really nice. Um, which you would hope for an apple crisp macchiato. <laughs> uh, out of 10, I would probably give this a solid like 7 out of 10. It's not my favorite, but it's definitely interesting. And I would definitely, I don't even have to try the hot version. I would definitely suggest the ice version of this. Yeah. Cause I feel like, oh, I don't know. It just does not sound good hot. And then I got the muffin. I'm so excited. I was sad in my caribou review because they didn't have the muffin available. They also have a pumpkin cream cheese muffin at caribou, but they didn't have it available when I went. So here's the Starbucks version. She's really pretty. She kind of looks like the bread, the pumpkin bread, I believe they have, which is really good. Um, and then the cream cheese in the middle, beautiful. It looks like a decent helping of cream cheese. I hope it's like really stuffed in there. I'm excited. She's cute. Okay. Okay. This is what I was worried about, but it kind of makes sense. So here's the middle, like when you actually bite into it. So the cream cheese looks like it's really only just on top. And then the rest is the muffin, which I'm a, I love cream cheese. Like I could literally eat it plain all day, every day. <laughs> so it would not bother me if there was cream cheese also like in the bottom part but it does there's still plenty on top so it does kind of make up for it hi it's editing me elena and i just quickly want to mention i forgot to say that the cream cheese the texture is more like a cupcake frosting texture not like the regular cream cheese that you get in a tub for your bagel, but it still does taste like cream cheese. Just the texture is more like a cupcake frosting texture, if that makes sense. Okay, back to uh, regular me. Okay, bye. Um, this tastes very similar to the pumpkin bread, which I love. 
Um, so it all depends if you're in the mood. Do you want that extra cream cheese or not? Um, and do you want a muffin form or not? Because it is very similar to their pumpkin bread, just with cream cheese and in a muffin form. So it is good. Um, I would probably just get the bread overall if I had to choose between one or two because the bread is easier to eat. Um, and I don't really need the cream cheese, even though I do love cream cheese. Uh, but it's good though. I like it. I would give this a solid like 8 out of 10. It's good. I like it a lot. I did ask for it warm. I don't know if it is warmed or not, but either way, it's still really good. And then my all-time favorite is the pumpkin cream cold brew. She's beautiful. She's beauty. She's grace. She's everything. And then I believe there's cinnamon topping and the pumpkin um, cold foam and then cold brew, which I love. And then I'm just going to taste it again because I love it anyways. I already know it. Yep, she's my number one. <laughs> she's always solid. She's always reliable. Um, she's so good. I love her. So, um... If you really want that strong pumpkin flavor, or if you're scared of a pumpkin, really strong pumpkin flavor, don't be. It's not as intense as you think it would be. Like the Caribou Coffee one was 100% pumpkin strong flavor. Um, this is actually pretty soft for flavoring of pumpkin. It's not too intense. And the coffee, the cold brew definitely helps with it not making it intense. And you do taste the coffee, which I love and I appreciate. Um, I'm a, like, I'm a fake coffee fan. Like I love coffee. I love the taste of it, but I also need my sugar. So like, this is perfect for me. <laughs> um, I wish I was cool and just drink it black, but I can't, it's just too boring for me. But yeah, if you want a really good, strong flavored coffee, but also have that pumpkin flavoring, but it's not too overpowering, and even with a sh uh, cinnamon sugar on top, it's not too much. Definitely get this. Um, this is always my one try and true. She's a queen. She's a baddie. She's strong. She's independent. She like, you just know, everyone knows her name. Okay. Like when she walks in the room, everyone knows her. They love her. She's strong. She's beautiful. <laughs> you get the point. I love her. Um, so yes, 10 out of 10 for me. A hundred percent. Um, I'm going to try the apple crisp one more time because it is interesting, um, but maybe you do need to mix it more, which I'm going to try my best. I don't have a stirrer. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely interesting. Um, yeah, out of the two, I would definitely do the pumpkin cream cold brew because the apple kind of has a weird aftertaste, but I think that's because of the oat milk. So yeah, I hope you like my review of my Starbeast fall items. It was super fun to try. I'm super glad I got to try the muffin and the apple crisp. Um, so yeah, next will be Dunkin' Donuts. And I'm so excited because once, once again, my best friend Kelly is going to be with us. And it's going to be so much fun. And then Minnie just appreciates you being here. And we just want to say please like and subscribe for more and welcome new subscribers and to the nice comments I got so far. Um, it's just been a lot for me. Like, I, obviously, I'm a small, small, small YouTuber. Um, but like, for me, 66 subscribers is a lot. Okay. <laughs> um, and especially getting 10 subscribers in like a month that's a lot for me and I appreciate every one of you and thank you for being so nice and yeah we'll see you next at um Dunkin Donuts and I'll bring my Disney munchling Mickey Mouse which you saw in the caribou coffee one a little bit um he's a cookies kind of like a cookies ice latte um drink but Mickey Mouse form because Disney is like their uh form of uh Squishmallows, but in food form, plushies. It's super cute. I forgot to bring him today because once again, I was just too excited to leave. Uh, but he'll be there for Duncan time, okay? <laughs> and see you guys next time. And next stop is Duncan. Yay! <laughs> All right, see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> Hi.
Hi everyone, it's me, Elena Mahila, and this is my bestie, Kelly. Hey, Queens. Kelly Queen. I'll put her um, channel in the description, so feel free to subscribe to her. And I thought it'd be fun to do a taste test with her. And we are trying their pumpkin drinks at Dunkin'. And it just opened up like two weeks ago near us, which is a big thing. And we've got Mickey in the background. Mm -hmm. So cute. Uh, what kind did you get? You got I got the ice spice drink cute mm -hmm. and then I got their um, pumpkin iced chai latte mm. their signature so it has the whipped cream and whatever cinnamon on top it looks like this is really good it's like really cinnamon -y. Mm. yeah this is good if you like chai lattes I I'm a big fan of lattes mm -hmm. um, and I love iced coffee as you guys know you so go. this would definitely be good hot I mean iced Maybe hot. I could see this being good hot. Mm -hmm. What about your drink? Do you see it being good hot if it was? It's really, really cinnamony. Okay. <laughs> it tastes like a cinnamon donut. Ooh, that sounds good though. But it says it has two of the like pumpkin. Mm -hmm. I like that it says the like ingredients on here. That's cute. Two pumpkin, one cream, one caramel. And caramel. It doesn't say cinnamon, but that's what it tastes like to me. I threw mine away, so I don't know what's mm -hmm. in mine besides iced chai pumpkin i like mine mine's a chai latte so if you ever had chai lattes it's like a tea and coffee mix in mm -hmm. one and it's really good and mine tastes like a mix of pumpkin and cinnamon but it's not too strong so if you're afraid of pumpkin and cinnamon this one has more cinnamon taste i feel like yeah um but it's not if you're scared of pumpkin being too strong don't be it's not that strong okay how about yours is yours pretty strong pumpkin? It's really, well, no, it's more like on that cinnamon. Oh, okay. So yeah. both of ours are more cinnamony taste, mm -hmm. which I love. So yeah. if you like that, amazing. Yeah. And then we're going to try some of their fall um, food mm. items. So we didn't get everything because they have a lot of options, which is good. Yeah. Um, but we kind of broke, so we had to like choose what we yeah. want. Well, this is just hash browns. Yum. You want one? Sure. Let's see. <laughs> there you I'm go. Hungry. She's cute. Mm. Mm, that's good. Mm. We could both try this. Ooh. This is their munch munchkins, munchlings. I don't know what they're called. Pumpkin. Mm. Cheers. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Other side. There you go. <laughs> It's supposed to be like a donut, but the holes like in the middle part of the donut, I think. Mm -hmm. I like it. It's a little dry, but not too dry. Um, I like the sugar coating on top mm -hmm. or whatever it is. That's what it looks like. What would you rate it out of 10? Um, I'm not a reviewer. This is so funny. <laughs> um... I would rate it probably like um eight. Okay, yeah. But I feel like you could get it at the grocery store. Same, I agree. Um, I'd also give it an eight. It's pretty solid. It looks like a booty hole. <laughs> what did you get? <laughs> <laughs> I got the croissant. I got the um the sausage egg croissant because I wanted to get the chorizo, but. We were sold out. And they were out. Yeah. And they let me get it on the app, which is kind of bad. Yeah, I feel like the app should have said like sold out. Yeah. But. Uh, so I didn't it's try yours. <laughs> right. Looks like it has sausage, egg, and cheese, and, cheese yeah. and a croissant. Good. Okay. Does it need anything? Like, is it missing sauce? Or? Well, yeah, well, I feel like the one at Quick Trip is just as good. Ooh, okay. Tea. Mm -hmm. What would you give it out of 10? Mm. It's like a six. Okay. And then, <clears throat> luckily, they did have mine. It's the maple bacon. Um, croissant sandwich 
So it has maple bacon, it looks like um, egg and cheese. It smells really good, not gonna lie. Mm -hmm. And then a croissant also. I'm gonna need another bite because I didn't get much of that. <laughs> I got more croissant. Mm -hmm. The egg kind of reminds me of like a McDonald's egg. Mm -hmm. I like that they did white cheese. I'm not sure if it's American cheese. I should have looked it up, but it's a good option. Mm -hmm. The Excuse me. The maple bacon really is good on this. It really does taste maple. Um, so at least they didn't lie about that. <laughs> um, for me, I'm a sauce kind of girl. So I would love some kind of like mm -hmm. syrup or some kind of sauce on this. But overall, the egg is fine. It's an egg. Um, maybe you could use some salt. Um, the bacon really is the star of this sandwich. The cheese, I didn't really taste the <laughs> cheese. But I would give this a solid like 6.5 out of 10. It's not bad. Um, it just needs maybe sauce, maybe more salt. But the bacon really is, I would say the bacon alone is a 10 it's out of 10. It is the shining star. Mm -hmm. So if you could just get a bag of just the bacon, 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, with the sandwich, she really is shining, which is good. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, like I said, it's solid 6.5 out of 10. Mm -hmm. Not bad. <laughs> Um, if you try Dunkin', what is your favorite fall item or drink? Mm -hmm. And then, oh, we forgot to show you. We got so excited. They have merch oh! at the store. Mm -hmm. And we were, that's the first thing we looked at. <laughs> Wait, ready? One, two, two three. three. Cups! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> they kind of like remind me of the Yeti cups, I think they're called. Yeah. Um, and they can do hot and cold drinks. Hot and cold then cold. you could, you could use a straw or you could use the, I don't know what you call it. You could drink uh, it through the like, like the straight up, thing. yeah. And I love that it's pink. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's so cute. Yeah. So we we were excited. We were like overly excited. Yeah. I felt bad. The lady heard me say, "I'm living for this." Yeah. <laughs> and she smiled. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah. Uh, the experience was okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. They're like I said, they're brand new. It was like two weeks, mm -hmm. maybe or a week even. I don't know. Um, so they were kind of getting used to everything still. That's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was nice in there though. They were playing Lil Nas. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They were playing really good music. Mm -hmm. um, and it's still clean because it's a brand new building. Mm -hmm. um, so, and like I said, I live in the middle of nowhere. So for having a Dunkin' is like a big deal for us. <laughs> I got so excited. I was like counting down the days. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Mm -hmm. um, oh, I forgot to show you my shirt pumpkin spice and then i think on the bottom is this season it's a yeah. little mini mouse mm -hmm. it's super cute i just and wanted to show you that. mickey munchkin mm -hmm. um, from disney he's a co iced coffee drink mm -hmm. but yeah i hope this video was fun i had fun did you have fun kelly mm -hmm. <laughs> and um get your fall on get your favorite fall drinks mm -hmm. it's tis the season <laughs> oh what did i try recently that was really good I'm trying to think. Um, Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> I like their apple drink. <laughs> oh, you liked it? I liked it, yeah. Was it the apple crisp macchiato? The oat one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I just like had that. that one. Yeah, it's different. I tried it before I filmed this. Mm -hmm. And I liked it, but it wasn't my favorite. Mm -hmm. I think mine had like a weird aftertaste, mm -hmm. but it was not bad. It was definitely, I think it was just because I wasn't used to it, mm -hmm. but I'm glad you like it. I've been trying to get that muffin, but it's sold out. Oh, really? I Every finally got I go. the muffin. <laughs> I love it. I finally got that muffin. Mm -hmm. yeah. I want that muffin. <laughs> <laughs> but see, that just shows you like, I thought the apple was okay. Like I liked it, but she loved it. So mm -hmm. obviously don't take mine or hers too serious mm -hmm. like if you want to try it go for it try it you know like this yeah the drinks are really good it's like a cinnamon sugar donut yes mm -hmm. and she's cute 
We got small because we didn't know if we would like it or not. <laughs> oh, and I was there at the airport yesterday because I'm visiting her. Yeah. By the way, from North Dakota. Yes. And I thought I lived in the middle of nowhere. Listen, <laughs> this girl <laughs> is living her best farm life. <laughs> like she lives in a cornfield. Literally. And <laughs> literally, and that's not an exaggeration. Like you can look out and you can just like role play as if you were like a farmer in the dell yeah and yeah <laughs> anyways i was at the airport and yesterday i got the chai tea latte and that was good mm. oh okay. that was just like with pumpkin yeah. Right? yeah yeah so you had something similar then yeah yeah okay it was good nice I liked it. i've actually okay this is like i have to make a confession mm -hmm. i've been scared to try chai lattes mm -hmm. um this is my first time i ever had a chai latte mm -hmm. and i'm kind of like living for it I don't know why I was so scared of the tea and coffee mix. Oh. I made them before. I used to work at a coffee shop. Mm -hmm. And I made them before for people. But I just never had it. Until now. <laughs> yeah. No, it's good though. Oh, don't you think we look cute, by the way? We did our we did makeup, makeup today. Because <laughs> <laughs> we went on a big outing today. Yes. Into the city. Yes. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um so i hope you like this video try your favorite fall drinks live it up it's fall time it is fall time yay fall all right like... please give us a like and a subscribe go check out kelly queen's channel and yeah have a magical day mm -hmm. bye everyone <laughs>